What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Kid Taj. And we got another video today. Today, we're going to be talking about the Chicago Bulls, one of the most unpredictable and confusing teams in the NBA. They currently sit at seventh in the Eastern Conference right now with a 19 and 18 record. Now, yeah, I'm about to talk about this team. Before I do, I want to say just do not forget to leave a like on this video. If you enjoyed it, comment an idea down below for a vi future video you want to see. Um, if you have an idea, please let me know and uh, subscribe if you're new i have a gaming channel as well links in the description um we're gonna start by saying that the mvp race this year has been absolutely phenomenal to watch phenomenal to hear about the story has been great we had two guys former teammates russell westbrook and james harden who are basically neck and neck right now at least in my opinion i would take harden personally right now um just by a little bit a tiny bit man but i would still take james harden for mvp at the moment russell westbrook's right on his toes but um there's another guy in chicago that's playing at an mvp level right now i can't say about all season but currently at the moment he's right up there um jimmy butler i mean this guy is playing out of his mind this week the bulls went three and oh Jimmy Butler averaged 38 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists in the 3 game span, including a 52 point performance against the Hornets and a 40 point performance, excuse me, 42 point performance against the Raptors. He had 10 rebounds in each of those games, a few assists. Um, so basically, you know, this is a guy that's carrying a team that's in the middle of the Eastern Conference, probably not contending for title or anything like that but it's kind of weird because we had reports recently that jimmy butler was being shopped that you know teams wanted to get their hands on him the bulls wanted another team to throw him a great deal so they could accept it um but apparently they weren't bulls were saying no that's not the case it was someone else just saying they wanted him and trying to stir up some rumors about jimmy butler but it doesn't really make any sense to me right now because obviously he's playing at a great level and we all know that He's been absolutely stellar. He's been clutch. He's been doing every single thing you could ask of a guy guarding the other team's best wing player while putting up 38 points per game, at least in this last week. Um, he's rebounding well. He's assisting well. He's been efficient. He's doing literally everything you can think of. Um, the team's just not winning enough. And I don't know how far you're going to go in terms of blame about that um but this is why russell westbrook and james harden are still considerably far ahead of him we do have guys like lebron james who need to be mentioned for the sake of the mvp award in terms of just the definition of the phrase most valuable player lebron james always has to come to mind and kevin durant he's played a hell of a season as well uh we got guys like Kawhi leonard um Giannis Antetokounmpo. but in the end Jimmy Butler, I think, sits top five in the MVP conversation. It's like he just worked his way in there. Because I don't think last week, or the week before, we were really talking about Jimmy Butler like he was this type of player. And it's funny because he might not even start in the All-Star game this year. I mean, the voting thing has got is it's all out of whack. The players in media are supposed to vote, but I don't even really know how that works. The Chicago Bulls, they haven't had a great record this year, and it's too bad because this guy's done so much for the team, at least lately. I mean, they've been playing better of late, which is definitely a good sign, and I think that, you know, with Jimmy Butler playing like this, it's hard to lose. They've had these great victories against a few great teams, um, but it's kind of a short span. He's been doing it all year, not, you know, certainly to this degree of play, but, you know, he's been doing big things all year he's averaging around 26 points seven rebounds four and a half assists shooting pretty good from the field and from three point land free throws have been fantastic and he's d'ing up as always um you know he's been great but his season's being overshadowed because he honestly could win an mvp award in a different season maybe if his team was doing better say the bulls are a two seed jimmy butler would definitely be in contention for the mvp award a few years ago you know, that season when we had Curry and Harden going at it for the MVP and Curry wins it. Hey, if Curry can win an MVP that year, I'm sure Jimmy Butler could the way he's playing. And if his team was, you know, in that top three conversation, now, point, the only thing I'm saying here with this is that we have such an amazing MVP race between Russell Westbrook and James Harden that, you know, we want to say that 
this guy's playing like an MVP. Because he really is. He's playing the best basketball of his career. But we can't say that because James Harden, look at what he did tonight. He had a 40-point triple-double once again to come back down against one of the league's best, the Toronto Raptors, um, and take that W and make the Rockets there now 30-9, and nine, which is absolutely ridiculous. Who could have expected the Houston Rockets to be this good? They've won eight straight. They're on a roll. I think they won like nine straight before that. They haven't had a losing streak in forever. Um, they're just playing basketball the way it needs to be played. Then you got a guy like Russell Westbrook, who's literally carrying everything, you know, for his team. And his case is a little bit more similar to Jimmy Butler. But here's why Jimmy Butler can't win the MVP this year. And it's because, or anyone for that matter. But this, I mean, let's just say, let's just talk about Jimmy Butler like it's, like it's him. But this applies to everybody. Jimmy Butler's team is in the seventh seed. Russell Westbrook's team is in the seventh seed. The difference, Russell Westbrook's averaging 30 points and a triple-double. That's going to completely rule out any chance of Jimmy Butler winning the MVP just right there. I mean, Russell Westbrook's averaging 30 points and triple-double while carrying his team. And they are at, they're at a 22-16 and 16 record. That record's much better than the Bulls' 19-18 and 18 record right now. And then James Harden, his numbers are still a lot better than Butler's and his team's 30-9. and nine. That's the case that makes it absolutely impossible, you know, for you to make a case for Jimmy Butler as MVP. Now let's take a look at LeBron. Like, what is it like with LeBron? LeBron James leading his team to 27 and 8. He's been stellar all year. And I think LeBron's being supremely underrated in this award. I think LeBron is the clear third guy, and he's not that far behind Harden or Westbrook, as you may think. The Cavs are the one seed in the East, like we should expect. And he's putting up huge numbers across the board. He's putting up numbers nearly as good as James Harden. Maybe not, maybe a little bit behind, but the points are almost there. The assists are a little bit behind. The rebounds are about the same, if not better. I guess, yeah, they're about the same. Um, So, you know, there's not a lot of difference. Plus, it's LeBron James. You know, what he brings to the table is, you know, so valuable. They're 27 and 8. Um, they're just a little bit ahead of the Rockets percentage-wise. But the point I'm making here is that LeBron James was definitely underestimated in the MVP conversation. Most people think, oh, it's just Harden and Westbrook. Well, I think that, you know, it should be the three of them because I don't understand why this guy is so underrated. As for Kevin Durant, I wouldn't put him in the MVP conversation because he's not really carrying a load, in my opinion. I mean, the Warriors do have the best record in the NBA as of right now. But they also have the best squad in the NBA, the best team in the NBA in terms of on paper. You look at who's on their squad, who's on their roster. You can see, well, these guys should be winning as many games as they are, if not more. And Kevin Durant's numbers are whatever. I mean, he's supposed to do that. If you're on a team like that, you're obviously, you know, going to shine and your team's going to shine. I don't put any stock into the Warriors being great in terms of Kevin Durant's MVP campaign. If he's not putting up 30, 35 points per game and doing that, then why is he in there? Honestly, he's not that valuable to that team. They won 73 games without him last season. To be honest with you, I mean, if you got Steph Curry, Andre Mungry, and Klay Thompson on your team, um, then it's not, you're not, I don't think you're that valuable if they're still 31 and 6. I'm sorry, and you're only, I mean, your numbers are pretty good. But what LeBron's doing is so much better. That team's first in the East, and they are also beat you guys. And LeBron's teammates, you know, are not where yours are. The Cavs without LeBron in the last few years, remember, they're four and eighteen. The Warriors without Kevin Durant last year, they won seventy three and nine. It's a completely different thing. And I think, hey, I mean, Kevin Durant should not be. I think Kawhi Leonard should be getting more MVP consideration than Kevin Durant. And Jimmy Butler should be right up there with those guys for sure. Um, and this video was just. You know, to pretty much highlight, summarize, you know, the superstardom that Jimmy Butler is approaching here. He's become one of the league's elite um, through this recent stretch. If he wasn't already before that, um, he's got a, he's going to, he's a lock for the all-star game. There's absolutely no question about that. Whether he starts or not, it's up to the voting to determine that. Hopefully he can get that starting spot. I'm pulling for him to, you know get that starting spot over Kevin Love in the all-star game even if Kevin Love gets it it's still well deserved the guy's been playing great as well um off topic Kevin Love has been playing the best basketball of his career if you want to disagree with me I have the stats to back it up and I will um but you know not in this video I can make a separate I already made a separate video about Kevin Love hey if you guys disagree with me on that go check out that video it's called like Kevin Love is a star again or some shit like that anyway it's on my channel somewhere, so go ahead and find it. Um, but yeah, 
The point of this video, Jimmy Butler's been playing amazing MVP level basketball, but not this season. This season we have this compelling MVP race that's just so much better than in any years past to me. So, you know, uh, that's that's why I think that if Harden and Westbrook weren't doing what they're doing, um, I think Butler would be right up there. Oh, and the fact that LeBron James is so underrated in terms of his MVP value. Um, that didn't make any sense. Most valuable player value. MVP consideration. LeBron James needs way more of it. And I think he's going to get it. I think that the experts, you know, the guys that vote on these things, they're going to understand that. And they're going to get him the respect he deserves. Um, that's going to do it for this video. If you all enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and a down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.